All right, good afternoon. Um, today I'm doing a little bit of 10 millimeter shooting. I want to just chronograph some of the differences between a standard Glock pistol. Okay, it's a G20. And my Roni carbine that has a 16 inch IGB barrel and the uh, the frame is a uh, Glock 20. So what we're gonna do is just chronograph the difference between a few self-defense rounds. So we're gonna do Underwood 115 grain Extreme Defender and uh, Barnes Vortex 155 grain TAC XP hollow points and Civil Defense 60 grain hollow points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started uh, with all these and we're going to fire, I'm just going to fire a couple rounds out of each one with each type of ammo, just to get an idea of the, of the, uh, the velocity. Later on I'll do a detailed video maybe on each type of ammunition because I've got a, uh, I've got a six inch G40 I've got a seven inch KKM barrel for it. Then I've got a nine inch Lone Wolf barrel. I've got a 10 inch IGB and a 16 inch IGB. And I'm gonna do a detailed video on um, the velocity out of each one of those Lynx barrel with each type of ammunition. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, let me grab a, a magazine. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start with with the uh, Extreme Defender. All right, so I'm going to fire two rounds out of my handgun. All right, I have no target. I'm not worried about where I'm hitting. I'm just going through the chronograph. All right, so that was 1,602 feet per second. That was 1,637 feet per second. Now we're going to fire those same rounds out of the carbine. All right, that was 1,897 feet per second. That was 1,925 feet per second. Now we'll go to the Barnes Vort TX. So two rounds out of the Glock 20. All right, that was 1,122 feet per second. nine feet per second. Now we'll fire them out of the carbine. And I had a shooting error. All right, let me clear my shooting error. Okay, right, we're back, let's try this again. was 1,207. That was 1,197. Now we're going to do the civil defense through the Glock 20 pistol. All right, that was 2,227 feet per second. That was 2,252 feet per second. Now we will shoot them out of the carbine. And 
kind of had a shooting error. All right, I'll be right back after I clear the shooting error. All right, I'm back. I tried to move the chronograph a little farther away from me. Um, it doesn't like debris from the end of the muzzle. So let me go ahead and try this and we'll see what we get. Believe it or not, that was 2,806 feet per second. That was 2,802 feet per second. That civil defense is nasty stuff. The only problem is because of the ballistic coefficient, it dissipates its velocity very, very quickly over a distance. So, um, you know, that's the only problem with that. If it wasn't for that, that would be my ideal choice. The Extreme Defender can hold its velocity for quite a distance. The Extreme Defender doesn't do too bad uh, keeping its velocity over, a, you know, a distance of like 100, 150 yards. 